Good morning, everyone. A warm welcome to each and every one of you. I'm Teacher Kogilawani here. I'm sure you all have been eagerly waiting for today's lesson. Before I introduce today's topic, I want all of you to listen to a wonderful song and guess today's title. Shall we start the song? Here we go. Hi Shadow, I see you. Hi Shadow, do you see me too? Hi Shadow, let's play a game. Follow me and I'll follow you. Put your hands out wide, wide. Wave them up and down, down. Raise your hands up high, high. Shake them, shake them all around. Hi Shadow, I see you. Hi Shadow. Do you see me too? Hi, Shadow. Let's play a game. Follow me and I'll follow you. Put your hands on your hips, hips. Bend your knees down low, low. Jump up and skip, skip. Faster, faster, here we go. Hi, Shadow. I see you. Hi, Shadow. Do you see me too? Hi, Shadow. Let's play a game. Follow me and I'll follow you. My dear students, have you guessed today's title? Yes, you are correct. We are going to learn about shadow. The shadow clarity of objects. Do you know how a shadow is formed? On a Sunday morning, you are on your way to the market to buy some milk. The sun is shining bright on your face. You see your shadow on the ground behind you. The same day in the evening, you are out in the park playing football. The sun's rays fall on your back. You see your shadow on the ground in front of you. After a while, the sun sets. There are no more shadows. You are confused. You want to understand when shadows are formed. You are also curious to know the direction in which shadows are formed. Shadows are formed when an opaque object is placed across the path of light. Shadows can be seen only on a screen. The ground, walls of a room, building and other such surfaces act as screens for shadows. Shadows are always formed in the direction opposite to the source of light. In the morning, since you were facing the sun, the shadow was behind you. In the evening, the sun was behind you, causing the shadow to be formed in front of you. When the sun sets, there was no light. Hence, there were no shadows. I hope now you have understood how a shadow is formed. A shadow are formed when a moving light is obstructed by an object. The clarity of the shadows formed may vary according to the types of object that obstructs it. There are three types of objects around us, such as transparent, translucent, and opaque. Now, we are going to observe few objects around us. Let's do some observation. Can we now see the objects outside the window? Nope, we can't. But the question is why? It's easy. Because the light from the outside of the window does not reach us. The wooden shutter blocks this incoming light. Such objects are called opaque objects and they are very large in number. 
Almost everything around us is opaque if you think about it. Wood, metal, sheets, colored plastic and so on. Now let's open the wooden shutters. Can you see something new? Yes, we see the surroundings through the glass. And I'm sure you know why. What has happened now is that we have a clear glass which allows light to pass through it, allowing us to see through it clearly. Such objects are called transparent objects. Earlier the wooden shutter was opaque and the opaque objects do not allow light to pass through them. Now look at this shelf which has a milky glass. Are we able to see what's inside? Well, we can't see the things clearly but you do see something, right? You can probably guess that books are kept inside. Yes, milky glass allows light to pass through it but only partially and one can see some light coming through it. What is the difference between the two? While the objects like clear glass are called transparent objects, the objects which allow light to pass through it partially are called as translucent. We can easily think of examples of opaque objects. But can you think of other transparent or translucent objects? Yes, clean water, glass, clear plastic bottles and air are all examples of transparent objects. Can you think of examples of translucent objects? Yes, butter, paper, thin sheet of plastic, milky glass are a few examples of translucent objects. Dear students, I hope now you have a clear understanding on types of objects. Now we are going to discuss about which object formed a clear shadow. Lynn, Sarah and Lana just finished playing and now are going to have a drink. While waiting for Lana's mom to make their juice, Lana observes the different shadows made by the light on the table. Lynn's cup and Sarah's glass have shadows, while her own glass has no shadow. Interestingly, Lynn's cup has a dark shadow, while Sarah's glass has a faint shadow. Why is this so? The clarity of a shadow depends on the type of object that light passes through. There are three types of objects, opaque, translucent, and transparent. When light strikes an opaque object, it forms a dark shadow. When light strikes a translucent object, it forms a faint shadow. When light strikes a transparent object, no shadow is formed. Now Lana understands why her glass does not form a shadow. It is because her glass is transparent. Do you understood why Anna's glass does not perform a shadow? Why, my dear student? Yes, her glass is transparent. To prove this, we are going to do an investigation on Shadow clarity of objects. Before we carry out our investigation, we must have a clear view on the aim. The aim of this investigation is to investigate the clarity of shadow. These are the materials that we're going to use for our investigation. We're going to use a white paper, a clear plastic, a scissors, a torchlight, few popsicle sticks, manila card, colored plastic, and tape. These are the steps to carry out our investigation. First, draw a butterfly shape on the clear plastic. 
colored plastic and in manila cut. Then tap a popsicle stick to each piece. Direct the torch towards a butterfly shaped manila cut. Observe the shadow formed. Repeat step 2 using colored plastic of the butterfly shape. Finally, we are going to do observation and do record the clarity of the shadows formed in a table as shown below. Dear students, you need to observe the clarity of shadow for each object given. You also need to identify the types of objects for each object given. Complete this table and send your answer in Google Classroom. Good luck kids! Let's do mind reflection. Today we have learned about a transparent object is an object which allows all the light to pass through it. Hence, no shadow is formed. A translucent object is an object which allows some light to pass through it. Hence, the shadow formed is less clear. An opaque object is an object which does not allow any light to pass through it. Hence, a clear shadow is formed.